Now, escaping free to play is harder than it's ever been in the history of old school RuneScape. Bonds are at a record high 10 mil a piece, and earning that much money in free to play is incredibly difficult. But there is still one pretty consistent way to earn that much money without putting in too much effort, and that's free to play flipping. So, how long is it gonna take me to earn a bond in free to play at these prices if we only start with a single gold piece? Welcome, this is uh, RS Flip 44, one of my many random free to play accounts. <laughs> so his stats are pretty much as low as possible and it only has one gold coin. Now finding the item you can buy for one gold piece is pretty difficult, especially in free to play. You kind of have to try to find something obscure because it's difficult to buy a legitimate item for that cheap, like a feather is cheap, but I don't think you're gonna get it for one coin. So it's kind of sleuthing through the cheapest items uh, in free to play. We just hopped on the GE tracker and went down to the cheapest items and we're just looking for ones that are selling for one gold. We have like a fire tiara, body tiara, but one that kind of caught my interest here is the Team Cape 9. Mainly because it's obscure enough that we might actually be able to buy it for one coin, but hopefully sell it for like, looks like 70, which would allow us to um, 70x our money, which sounds pretty good. If you look at the graph, it looks like for the most part, this item is selling for a couple hundred, but for whatever reason last week, they've bottomed out at one GP, so I'm hoping that we should be able to buy this quickly. So first item going in, Team Cape 9. Okay, not bad actually, it only took half an hour to buy that, and we'll sell it back for a conservative 65 times profit. <laughs> okay, so here's where things open up a little bit. Unfortunately, we're only able to get 28 times our money back. Oh well, that is workable still. And now that we don't have to literally buy things for one coin, this becomes a little bit easier. Like for example, we're gonna try buying the black skirt for 11 coins, still pretty cheap. And we might also try buying uh, this hard leather body for a couple coins each. We're gonna try buying them for seven. And yeah, well, I mean, we'll put another offering for the Team Cape, why not? Okay, that took literally seconds. Well, we bought them for seven and we're gonna try selling them for 24. Okay, we got our black skirt. This one I'm kind of optimistic we'll be able to make a good profit on. We spent half our cash stack buying it for 11 coins. Pretty big investment. But it looks like if we're patient, we can sell it back for a couple hundred. It's not a very commonly traded item though, so this might take a minute. We're gonna be greedy. We're gonna try for 400. Probably the most limiting factor for free-to-play flipping beyond the actual free-to-play item list is just the restriction of only having three offer slots. I'm not even sure why that's even a member's feature, but yep, three offer slots, that's all we got to work with. <laughs> so I'm trying to stick to items that should buy and sell kind of quickly, like leather van braces aren't that obscure. Uh, we're gonna try selling for almost 200 coins though, so that's, that might be a hard ask. <laughs> hey, look at that, black skirt sold off for 400 coins, that's a massive flip. We just made 385 coins on that. By far our biggest flip yet. So now we actually have, we got some money. We got 400 coins. We gotta be able to do something with that. We're gonna try buying the steel full helm. Uh, we're looking for items that are kind of just doing something wonky at the moment. For example, the steel full helms look like they're selling for almost 1,500, uh, but we can buy them for like 140. So that potentially could be over a thousand GP profit. And oh my God, we actually sold one. That only took about 15, 20 minutes and we just made like a 1200 GP profit. Look, we can see the graph here. No idea what's going on, but like this might seem kind of random, but honestly, this stuff happens all the time. And in free to play, most people aren't even like looking at these items as potential flips. Like nobody with any amount of money really cares that you can make 1200 GP on a steel full helm. But for our exact purpose right now, this is an incredibly lucrative item. Oh my God, we just sold the second one. Yes, man, these other M's are completely a waste of time now. Okay, we're now up to 3k cash. Okay, we're trying another item here. We're going for the Adamant Axe. Kind of a similar story when we're buying it for its relatively normal price, but for some reason it's selling for thousands. Like I'm not really sure why anyone would need an Adamant Axe that badly, but <laughs> looks like we could sell them for 4k each. Like look at this graph, it's crazy. And I'm actually really excited about this. This item actually gets traded a lot. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Almost a 4k profit on a single Addy Axe. So, so good. We're definitely gonna try to buy more of those. Oh, the second one already came through. We're already up to like a 10k cash stack now. We're going full tilt on the Adamant Axe. Everything else is coming out. Look at that. Each Axe sale is a 3.5k profit. We're gonna just run with this as long as we can right now. 
Today's video is sponsored by none other than Pocket Champs. Pocket Champs is a 3D racing game that, like RuneScape, involves training your character's different skills, except this time you have skills like running, climbing, swimming, and even flying. You train your champions, then you sit back and relax and watch them race. Honestly, it's a pretty chill thing to do while you're AFKing like stars or redwood trees. Having a winning champ really comes down to analyzing the world properly and selecting the right gadgets for the job. One thing I really like about Pocket Champs is the vibrant design of all the champions in the world. Everything's really cozy and relaxing and there's dozens of different gadgets and champs to collect. There's also a ton of places to discover as well as monthly updates with exclusive content. Coming up soon is a Christmas event that's running from the 21st of December to the 28th that will have an exclusive game mode and even unique rewards. So I'd highly recommend trying out Pocket Champs, download it today using the link in my description or the QR code on screen, and you'll be of course supporting my channel, but you'll also receive a starter pack with 500 gems and a Christmas tree skin. The reward is worth $15 and is only available until December 31st. And once again, a massive thank you to Pocket Champs for sponsoring. Okay, I think I'm convinced the Adam Axe is going to be carrying us through the early game in free-to-play. Each sale still netting us 3,000 GP profit. That's another 6,000, plus we have a bunch more axes coming through. Pretty easy money, the only issue is we're going to hit the buying limit eventually, if not pretty soon. Only 40 of these can be traded every 4 hours, so then we'll kind of hit our stopping point. But I'm hoping we'll make it that far. Looking at the graph, it's still completely erratic, but that's what we want. Okay, so the sales have slowed down a bit, um, <laughs> we're still buying a lot of them. I think we have about 15 axes right now. I'm going to drop them in there for about 2,400. Hopefully we can still unload these. Okay, so we had to drop the price even more, but still, even at 1700, we're still making over a thousand GP profit, which means on the 13 axes, that's still 13k profit, which is huge for this being like the first couple hours. I think the last time I tried this, I had almost zero luck flipping items that were even remotely quick. And this time we're only an hour and a half into the challenge and we're already up to nearly 50k. Sure, 30k an hour doesn't sound great even for free to play, but things go up exponentially when you're flipping. So those 12 Adam and Axes, I think we've now officially hit the buying limit, and that has brought us up to 60k, which means I think it's about time we finally can buy our first kind of rare item here. We're going to try buying the Iron Full Helm G. Now the price on this thing is crazy right now. It looks like we can buy it for around 50 or 60K and sell it for more than double 130K. So for this item, we'll have to be a lot more patient. Could take an hour to come through, if not more. But because we hit the buying limit on our breadwinner item, the Adamant Axe, uh, we had to move on to something else and I couldn't find anything better. So now we're just gonna be patient. Well, actually that wasn't nearly as long as I thought. That only took half an hour but we're able to buy one Iron Full Helm G for 52k. Even the GE suggested price is 130, so we're gonna maybe just undercut it a bit, drop it in there for 120,000, which would be more than a double up on pretty much our entire cash stack. So about an hour on the dot, and we were finally able to make the sale, which sure, this took a while, but we literally doubled our entire cash stack. We just have to do that you know, 10 more times and we have a trillion gold. It's easy as that, guys. Okay, realistically, we're not going to be able to do that again, or at least not be able to double our entire cash deck again, but we might as well try you know, the same flip. It's still quite good, and now we actually have more money left over to try something else. Okay, so we're actually coming back near to the end of our very first day flipping. We left some offers in for a while, and they finally did come through. We got two more Iron Full Helm Gs for 65k. We have some sapphire amulets, and we actually have some steel full helms that we're slowly selling off. Okay, interesting. We just insta sold that for 136k. Either way, that is a 60k profit that I will happily take. And if you look at all the items we have, we're actually ending off our day one of free to play flipping at about 400k, which is really good. I'm super happy with that. Sure, we're only 120th of the way to a bond, if not more. But for a chill day and free to play, not half bad. Good morning, it's day two. We sold off all our hats or, or our helms, I guess I would say. Bring our cash stack up to 380,000 gold. Not bad for the first day. 
Well, I tried a few different items and didn't have too much success, but adamant items have been treated as pretty well. We flipped an entire buying limit of adamant axes again. No idea why this item is so erratic, but we're going to make about 25k profit on just 40 of them. And we also made about 45k profit on these adamant plate legs. Maybe these items are like clue scroll items and, and that's why they have such volatile pricing, but either way, we're going to make roughly 100k on just a buying limit of adamant play legs. Ooh, I'm excited about this. So we put a offering for our most expensive item yet, the Amulet of Power trimmed. 413k to buy this thing. I'm hoping we can sell it for a 40 or 50k profit. Not our biggest return on investment, but 40k is still a pretty decent profit and hopefully this will be relatively quick. Nice, nice, nice. That only took 15 minutes to sell off. And for a 37k profit, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll try that again. Okay, I think that worked out pretty well, but I think we actually made more money on these scimitars somehow. We ended up with a 40k profit on the scimitars, only 30k on the Amulet of Power, kind of funny. Either way, we are now up to 640k cash. Okay, we've entered a new industry here, screw the Amulet of Power, we're in the parrot game now. We're buying them for 280, selling them for 340. That's a 60k profit on the shoulder parrot. Plus, it trades more frequently as well. So, win, 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 win. Easy. We also tried flipping the Zamorak kite shield, but really, it's taking its sweet time to sell off. I think parrots are where it's at. The only issue with the parrot, it has a buying limit of four, kind of hilariously low. So although we didn't have too much success on anything besides the shoulder parrot today, one exciting thing, if you look at our offer slots and our cash stack, we're pretty much at 1 million gold. Welcome everyone to day three where we have some exciting news. Three parrots. We're not keeping them though, we're selling them. Okay, something really weird is happening with the Adamant Scimitar again. What is going on with these adamant items? We did make a couple sales, but I just want to take a look at this item here. So we're buying the scimitars for 2,000 each, but if we price check them, can we even buy them for 10,000? We literally bought it for 10k, so we're 5xing our money right now on the scimitars. I hope we can actually make some sales at this price. Oh, look at that. We had to drop it, but we still sold them for 7,000 each. That's 5k on each scimitar, and we did 44 of them. That's a 220k profit on 44 adamant scimitars. I have no idea how that happened. The price is completely wacky. That's our biggest flip so far, though. Only took half an hour or something, not even, for 220k profit in free-to-play. Now we're talking. So we left some offers in for a few hours. We went out and did some shopping, came back. Look at that. Completely green. We got 70 adamant scimitars. Four Iron Plate Body Gs. I'm a little nervous because they bought really quickly. Hopefully we didn't overpay. I mean, look at the price for the Adam and Scimitar. Once again, just doing some really weird things all of today. Sometimes they're going for 10k each. Sometimes they're going for 7k each. I'm not really sure what price we should try to sell them for. We're going for 5,700 right now. And hopefully those will sell off. Okay, so I'm about to get to bed. Didn't sell off too many of the Scimitars. We did sell off all these Iron Plate Bodies though. Uh, which actually netted us about a 65k profit, not terrible. Unfortunately, the Zimitar is totally tanked in price. Uh, we're going to sell them off overnight. Uh, if only I had been a little quicker. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Ooh, look at all that trimmed armor. It looks good. These iron full homes are actually really good. Look at that. Bought them for 77k, sold them for 132 a full buying limit actually netted us 225k profit. Oh, that's amazing. This might be uh, the new play. Now, thanks to some big offers from yesterday and overnight, we actually are at 1.7 mil cash. Somehow, like, on the nose. Plus, we have a bit more money in those full helms. So we're actually at 2 mil right now. <laughs> kind of crazy we doubled our money yesterday. 2 mil is a lot to work with. And there's a ton of different items we can try now, including gilded items, which... Surprise is actually a free-to-play item. There's actually a lot more random free-to-play items than you would expect. And we're going to try most of them at some point, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to try the Gilded Plate Skirt. And to top it all off, we're going to go for none other than the Mole Slippers. Another free-to-play Clue Scroll item going in for 515k. Hopefully it treats us nicely. 
Okay, well that's another classic case of none of those items working. We did sell off a couple more full helms, which is nice though. But we kind of had to go back to the drawing board as far as new items. We were actually able to buy this Gothix Armor Set LG, which is a really obscure item, uh, but apparently it has a 100k margin and is traded more than the others. I have no idea why, but sometimes I just don't question things. Somehow we're able to buy three of them and they actually are selling off slowly for about 100k profit on each one. Another interesting flip we just did, we did 92 adamant square shields, continuing the train of adamant items just being really, really weird. But on those 92, we actually like doubled our money on them, so we made about 150k profit, so no complaints there. Now, and if you pop over the GE tracker, there's one item I've kind of been eyeing up. The Team Cape X has a really big margin right now of about 200k. We can just afford it. Let's give it a try. Okay, no luck on that, but we did sell off two other interesting items. We got all the Guthix armor sets sold off. We actually did four of them in total, and we made about 100k on each one. Four, sounds about a 375k profit on the Guthix armor sets just today. Traded a lot more frequently than I could have ever expected. Plus, we sold a stale baguette even for 100k profit. It's been a good day. <laughs> one item I eyed up on day one that I knew I wanted to try is actually the felling axe handle. Another free-to-play item that I had no idea was free-to-play and very consistently has about 100k margin on it and trades pretty consistently. So we're gonna put an offer in for about 1.8 mil and hope for the best. <laughs> okay, there's our first flip on it, 110k profit, which sure is not our biggest flip, but this is gonna be a lot more consistent and quick. Another one's done with for another 120k profit plus another 85k from the armor set. Things are looking pretty good on day three. Now to round off today, we're trying one final item here, the Zamorak Full Helm. No idea why this item is so expensive compared to the other god helms, but it looks like it has 100k margin on it, so that's why we're interested. Beautiful, sold it for 860 which is just over 100k profit, and we have some really, really lucrative items on the go right now. Looking at our cash stack, we're actually closing in on about 3.54 mil cash. So just like that, we're like halfway to a bond. Things kind of exploded out of nowhere, and uh, the end is already kind of in sight. Kind of crazy. So just like that, we've already passed the halfway mark-ish to getting a bond. Like many of these items I'm flipping, the bond is also kind of all over the place right now. For now though, we're kind of continuing on with the same strategy, mostly focusing on the felling axe handle in this Zamorak full helm. Just like that, another 100k profit on the full helm, but I have another idea. Another item that I've had my eye on for a long time, and another one that is surprisingly free to play, the ham joint. It's two mil for it, so one of the more expensive ones we've tried. Hopefully we'll have some success with it. Well, we did not. <laughs> we did buy and sell one, but it was pretty much break even. So we're gonna kind of put a pin in that for now. But if you look at our offer history, mostly it's just been these felling axe handles. We've done, I think, almost the full buying limit today, slowly. We are still getting about a 70 to 80K profit on each one. Not the biggest ROI, but as your items get more expensive, you can't really expect to keep doubling your money. It just doesn't work that way. Just doing a quick scroll through our offer history for today, you can see pretty much all Zamrak full helms, felling axe handle, the odd other item. We'll put a few offers in overnight, but if you look at our offer history, we have 4.7 mil worth of cash right now, which means today I think we made about 1 mil profit. Okay, so we woke up this morning, every item came through, which is really exciting. But what's even more exciting, if we look at the Zamrak full helm, I don't know what happened, but it jumped up to 1.3 mil overnight. So we'll dump it in there for 1.3 mil. Hopefully that sells off because that would be a 500k profit. Because we had to drop it a bit, but still 1.2 mil, that's crazy. I think that's our biggest flip yet, 400k. Sure, kind of came down to a bit of luck. Well, I guess we'll find out whether it was luck if we can, uh, well, repeat. Okay, we actually have two items to cover here. One that I'm pretty excited about, we actually flipped the Gilded Dehyde Body. Once again, surprisingly free to play, but we sold it for 2.9 mil, bought it for 2.6, so we actually made about a 210k profit on it. Plus we made another 200k on the Zamorak Full Helm. K, 
Okay, look at that guys. We got some really expensive items coming through. We have the Team Cape Zero coming through for about 3.1 mil. We're looking to sell it for 3.4, which would be about a 200, 300k profit. We'll see on that one. Okay, today was a really profitable day. We're rounding it off with our Team Cape Zero sale for 200k and our final Zamorak Full Helm coming through for another 200k profit. If we take out all our offers, for the first time in a long time, we have pure cash, and it looks like we have 6.7 mil. Which means we are really close, at minimum two-thirds of the way there, and it's been not even a week yet, so... Just goes to show this can actually be done in a relatively short amount of time, and probably even quicker, if you didn't start with literally one gold piece. So this is pretty interesting. Overnight, we actually bought the Zamrak armor set, which has all the components, including the Zamrak full helm, which we just sold one for 1.3 mil. We bought the entire set for less than the price of the helm, which is so weird. And I'm just being silly and trying to sell it back for 1.7 mil, but that's actually kind of dumb. What I probably should just do is actually abort this offer, go to the Grand Exchange Banker, unpack this item set, and just sell the individual components because the full helm was already worth more than the entirety of the set. Plus we have some of the other components that could be worth something as well. Okay, so the price did finally drop on the full helms. We'd have sold them all off though for one mil, which is still a profit. We're still not losing money here. Plus we'll just kind of sell off these other random components. They're not actually worth anything. For some reason the full helm was worth by far the most. But if we do our math right here, I think we are at 8 mil, which is so close. Right now bonds are 8.5 mil, which means we're like just there. We literally just need like one more flip. Okay, I think that's gonna do it. Under a week and I think we're done. We have some Gilded Plate Skirts, Felling Axe Handles, and of course the Zamrak Full Helm. Four of them going in for a 500k profit. Our cash stack actually went all the way up to 9.5 mil, so we went a little bit past. Can we go ahead and buy a bond for 9 mil? God damn, we can't. Okay, we're fine actually. I was afraid there that we weren't even going to be able to afford it somehow. Anyway, we are done. A bond has been acquired for 9 mil. So let's just do a quick recap. This took me about a week, I think only around 6 days. And if you're curious, here are the most profitable items from the entire week. The Zamrak Full Helm by far took the number one place, which is kind of surprising. I was expecting something a little more consistent to take the number one spot. We also had items like the Felling Axe Handle at the top, Guthix Armor Set, but a lot of Clue Scroll items for the most part. Now, would this be repeatable with those items exactly? Probably not, but it just goes to show that there's really a lot of opportunity, even in free-to-play, and there's a lot more items that are free-to-play than you expect. Plus, if you started with a bit of cash to begin with, this would be done much quicker. But overall, a really fun challenge, and by far, in my opinion, the easiest way to escape free-to-play in 2023. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and before I go, don't forget to check out Pocket Champs using the link in my description to download the game today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.